usually it starts with a, uh, we start with a really strong concept, which is as if a miracle had happened and you were struck by lightning and survived. And what happens after that are engineering drawings. And then the engineering drawings say whether you can really do this with material or not. And then you look at the drawings and you see if that matches the original vision. And if it doesn't, you have to grab something out of that and pull back and pull it back toward the vision part of it. And somehow after a zigzaggy process, um, hopefully you get a lamp. And so you want to have just enough skill, but not too much skill, so you, you rely on the, on the ability of your own hands to make this thing. Like, like, uh, like William de Kooning would deliberately boil his brushes to make them blubbery, so he would lose control of the thing. <laughs> so just enough, and steel, it's amazing. You know, people think of steel as being like, boom, you know, there's an edge that stops, and it doesn't go any farther. But, but I always think of the surface as being kind of porous, and so you can go in or stay back. You can kind of push and pull on that surface in, in very much the same way a painter would work on a canvas. The first order of business was to get up the short beams, which were three to four feet, and they're custom made. And once we get all of those up, we can use those to hoist up the sections of the track. And then once we get all the sections of the track up, we can bolt them together, and then we have our base for the other decorative elements. Dave's been doing this a long time, so he understands what needs to happen. Lamp of the Covenant is a sculpture by Sacramento-based artist Dave Lane. It's 90 feet long, approximately six tons of steel that will be suspended about 25 feet in the air. The intention is to enliven the lobby space declare that this is a museum, this is a Jewish museum, and they're welcome. His skills with his hands combined with a sophisticated eye is, is what uh, makes people gasp. People say, why didn't I ever think of that? It's so simple and yet it's so incredibly exciting and beautiful. He chose the title, Lamp of the Covenant, to show his respect and interest in the culture. So lamp is a reference in some ways to the lamp in the ark uh, in every synagogue that's always perpetually lit and which is meant to stand for the presence of God or the divine everywhere all the time but particularly in a Jewish institution that he's she or it is, is present. The covenant of course is one of the central tenets of Judaism. We think that having the covenant as the first thing over your head when you walk in is a provocative invitation 